Yeah, she is fat. And I still f*** her. Hey, this is Seth Herzog. How are you? 2012 was a year of movies. There was a lot of them. Now the Academy Awards are upon us, and there are nine Best Picture nominees. So if you haven't seen them all, I'm here to break them down for you. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Seth breaks it down. Les Miserables. It's three hours of the most close-up singing you'll ever see in a film. Argo. In this taut political thriller, Ben Affleck finally wipes clean all the stains left behind from Daredevil and Gili. That's right, there's room for redemptions of other 90s backwash. I'm looking at you, Skeet Ulrich. You look like you've seen a ghost. Oscars 2020! <laughs> Beasts of the Southern Wild. This is a beautiful orchestral film about a poor black girl who seems to narrate the most beautiful poetry about her life amidst the worst tragedy. The whole universe. Depends on everything fitting together just right. If one piece busts, even the smallest piece, the entire universe will get busted. Man, that was gorgeous. Hmm. I wonder what I think about during the day. How long am I have to stand in line at this deli? God damn, how long is this gonna take? Waiting for this tuna melt for three minutes already. One day this tuna melt's gonna come, and it's gonna be cheesy. Now I'm gonna feel chewy. Is that David Schwimmer? Silver Linings Playbook. Movie about two mentally imbalanced people who end up hooking up with each other. Just like Dumb and Dumber. Zero Dark Thirty. I haven't seen it. So don't tell me the end, no spoilers. I hope someone dies. Life of Pi. Or as it's also called, Crouching Tiger, Shipwreck Boy. Life of Pi is a classic tale of boy meets tiger. Tiger takes over boat and boy and tiger almost get eaten by fluorescent whale. You've seen it a million times. Lincoln, Spielberg's sweeping epic about one of our greatest presidents who led us through our darkest time and freed a third of the country to land on the penny. Django Unchained. In Quentin Tarantino's bloody pre-Civil War epic, Ray Charles goes on an adventure with a Nazi to kill as many white guys as they possibly can. Now you have my attention. It's basically Lincoln with guns, and no Lincoln. So there you go, folks. Everything you need to know about the Best Picture nominees so you can impress your girlfriend who doesn't exist.